Inter Milan, football club Internazionale Milano, commonly referred to as Internazionale, or simply Inter and colloquially known as Inter Milan outside Italy, is a professional Italian football club based in Milan, Italy. Inter is the only Italian club to have never been relegated from the top flight. Inter has won 30 domestic trophies on par with its local rivals AC Milan, including 18 league titles, 7 Coppa Italia and 5 Supercoppa Italiana da from 2006 to 2010. The club won 5 successive league titles, equaling the all-time record at that time. They have won the Champions League 3 times, two back-to-back -back in 1964 and 1965 and then another in 2010. Their latest win completed an unprecedented Italian seasonal treble, with Inter winning the Coppa Italia and the Scudetto the same year. The club has also won three UEFA Cups, two Intercontinental Cups and one FIFA Club World Cup. Inter's home games are played at the San Siro Stadium, also known as the Stadio Giuseppe Miazza. Shared with rival AC Milan, the stadium is the largest in Italian football with a capacity of 80,018. The local team AC Milan are considered among their biggest rivals, and matches between the two teams, known as the Derby della Madonnina, are one of the most followed derbies in football. Inter is the second most supported team in Italy, and the sixth most supported team in Europe. The club is one of the most valuable in Italian and world football. It was a founding member of the now defunct G14 group of Europe's leading football clubs. The club was founded on March 9, 1908, as Football Club Internazionale following the schism with the Milan Cricket and Football Club, now AC Milan. The name of the club derives from the wish of its founding members to accept foreign players as well as Italians. The club won its very first championship in 1910 and its second in 1920. The captain and coach of the first championship winning team was Virgilio Fassati, who was later killed in battle while serving in the Italian army during World War I. In 1922, Inter remained in the top league after winning two playoffs. Six years later, during the fascist era, the club was forced to merge with the Unione Sportiva Milanese and was renamed Società Sportiva Ambrosiana. The team wore white jerseys during this time with a red cross emblazoned on it. The jersey's design was inspired by the flag and coat of arms of the city of Milan. In 1929, club chairman Oresti Simonotti changed the club's name to Associazione Sportiva Ambrosiana, however supporters continued to call the team Inter. And in 1931 new chairman Pozzani caped into shareholder pressure and changed the name to Associazione Sportiva Ambrosiana Inter. Their first Coppa Italia, Italian Cup, was won in 1938-39, led by the iconic Giuseppe Miazza, after whom the San Siro Stadium is officially named. A fifth championship followed in 1940, despite Miazza incurring an injury. After the end of World War II the club regained its original name winning its sixth championship in 1953 and its seventh in 1954. In 1960, manager Helenio Herrera joined Inter from Barcelona, bringing with him his midfield general Luis Suarez, who won the European Footballer of the Year in Thesame year for his role in Barcelona's La Liga slash Fairs Cup double. He would transform Inter into one of the greatest teams in Europe. He modified a 5-3-2 tactic known as the Vro, Dorbolt, which created greater flexibility for counter-attacks. The Catnaccio system was invented by an Austrian coach, Karl Rappen. Rappen's original system was implemented with four fixed defenders, playing a strict man-to-man -man marking system, plus a playmaker in the middle of the field who plays the ball together with two midfield wings. Herrera would modify it by adding a fifth defender, the sweeper or libero behind the two center backs. The sweeper or libero who acted as the free man would deal with any attackers who went through the two center backs. Inter finished third in the Serie A in his first season, second the next year and first in his third season. Then followed a back-to-back -back European Cup victory in 1964 and 1965, earning him the title Il Mago, the Wizard. The core of Herrera's team were the attacking fullbacks Tarkisio Bergnik and Giacinto Facchetti, Armando Picchi the sweeper, Suarez the playmaker, Yair the winger, Mario Corso the left midfielder, and Sandro Mazzola, who played on the inside right. In 1964, Inter reached the European Cup final by beating Borussia Dortmund in the semi-final and Partizan in the quarter-final. In the final, they met Real Madrid, a team that had reached seven out of the nine finals to date. Matzola scored two goals in a 3-1 victory, and then the team won the Intercontinental Cup against Team Dependiente. A year later, Inter repeated the feat by beating two-time winner Benfica in the final held at home, from a year goal, 
and then again beat Independiente in the Intercontinental Cup. In 1967, with Yergon and Suarez injured, Inter lost the European Cup final 2 to 1 to Celtic. During that year, the club changed its name to Football Club Internazionale Milano. Following the golden era of the 1960s, Inter managed to win their 11th league title in 1971 and their 12th in 1980. Inter were defeated for the second time in five years in the final of the European Cup, going down 0 to 2 to Johan Cruyff's Ajax in 1972. During the 1970s and the 1980s, Inter also added two to its Coppa Italia tally, in 1977-78 and 1981-82. Led by the German duo of Andreas Brema and Lodar Mateus, and Argentine Ramon Diaz, Inter captured the 1989 Serie A championship. Inter were unable to defend their title despite adding fellow German Jurgen Klinsmann to the squad and winning their first Supercoppa Italiana at the start of the season. The 1990s was a period of disappointment. While their great rivals Milan and Juventus were achieving success both domestically and in Europe, Inter were left behind, with repeated mediocre results in the domestic league standings, their worst coming in 1993-94 when they finished just one point out of the relegation zone. Nevertheless, they achieved some European success with three UEFA Cup victories in 1991, 1994 and 1998. With Massimo Moratti's takeover from Ernesto Pellegrini in 1995, Inter twice broke the world record transfer fee in this period, £19.5 million for Ronaldo from Barcelona in 1997 and £31 million for Christian Vieri from Lazio two years later. However, the 1990s remained the only decade in Inter's history in which they did not win a single Serie A championship. For Inter fans, it was difficult to find who in particular was to blame for the troubled times and this led to some icy relations between them and the chairman, the managers and even some individual players. Moratti later became a target of the fans, especially when he sacked the much-loved coach Luigi Simone after only a few games into the 1998-99 season, having just received the Italian Manager of the Year award for 1998 the day before being dismissed. That season, Inter failed to qualify for any European competition for the first time in almost 10 years, finishing in 8th place. The following season, Moratti appointed former Juventus manager Marcelo Lippi, and signed players such as Angelo Peruzzi and Laurent Blanc together with other former Juventus players Vieri and Vladimir Jugovic. The team came close to their first domestic success since 1989 when they reached the Coppa Italia final only to be defeated by Lazio. Inter's misfortunes continued the following season, losing the 2000 Supercoppa Italiana match against Lazio 4-3 after initially taking the lead through new signing Robbie Keane. They were also eliminated in the preliminary round of the Champions League by Swedish club Helsingborg SIF, with Alvaro Ricobo missing a crucial late penalty. Libby was sacked after only a single game of the new season following Inter's first ever Serie A defeat to Regina. Marco Tardelli, chosen to replace Lippi, failed to improve results and is remembered by Inter fans as the manager that lost 6-0 in the City Derby against Milan. Other members of the Inter family during this period that suffered were the likes of Vieri and Fabio Cannavaro, both of whom had their restaurants in Milan vandalized after defeats to the Rossoneri. In 2002, not only did Inter manage to make it to the UEFA Cup semi-finals, but were also only 45 minutes away from capturing the Scudetto when they needed to maintain near one goal advantage away to Lazio. Inter were 2 to 1 up after only 24 minutes. Lazio equalized during first half injury time and then scored two more goals in the second half to clinch victory that eventually saw Juventus win the championship. The next season, Inter finished as league runners up and also managed to make it to the 2002 03 Champions League semi finals against Milan, losing on the away goals rule. On July 8, 2004, Inter appointed former Lazio coach Roberto Mancini as its new head coach. In his first season, the team collected 72 points from 18 wins, 18 draws and only two losses, as well as winning the Coppa Italia and later the Supercoppa Italiana. On May 11, 2006, Inter retained their Coppa Italia title once again after defeating Roma with a 4-1 aggregate victory, a 1-1 scoreline in Rome and a 3-1 win at the San Siro. Inter were awarded the 2005-06 Serie A championship retrospectively after points were stripped from Juventus and Milan due to the match-fixing scandal that year. During the following season, Inter went on a record-breaking run of 17 consecutive victories in Serie A, 
starting on September 25, 2006 with a 4-1 home victory over Livorno, and ending on February 28, 2007, after a 1-1 draw at home to Udinese. On April 22, 2007, Inter won their second consecutive Scudetto and first on the field since 1989, when they defeated Siena 2-1 at Stadio Artemio Franchi. Italian World Cup winning defender Marco Materazzi scored both goals. Inter started the 2007-08 season with the goal of winning both Serie A and Champions League. The team started well in the league, topping the table from the first round off matches, and also managed to qualify for the Champions League knockout stage. However, a late collapse, leading to a 2-0 defeat with 10 men away to Liverpool on 19 February in the Champions League, threw into question manager Roberto Mancini's future at Inter while domestic form took a sharp turn of fortune with the team failing to win in the three following Serie A games. After being eliminated by Liverpool in the Champions League, Mancini announced his intention to leave his job immediately and to change his mind the following day. On the final day of the 2007-08 Serie A season, Inter played Parma away, and two goals from Zlatan Ibrahimovic sealed their third consecutive championship. Mancini, however, was sacked soon after due to his previous announcement to leave the club. On June 2, 2008, Inter appointed former Porto and Chelsea boss Jose Mourinho as new head coach. In his first season, the Nerazzurri won a Supercoppa Italiana on to fourth consecutive title, though falling in the Champions League in the first knockout round for a third straight year, losing to eventual finalist Manchester United. And winning the league title, Inter became the first club in the last 60 years to win the title for the fourth consecutive time and joined Torino and Juventus as the only clubs to accomplish this feat, as well as being the first club based outside Turin. Inter enjoyed more success in the 2009 10 Champions League, defeating reigning champions Barcelona in the semi final and then beating Bayern Munich 2-0 in Defino with two goals from Diego Milito. Inter also won the 2009-10 Serie A title by two points over Roma, and the 2010 Coppa Italia by defeating the same side 1-0 in Defino. This made Inter the first Italian team to win treble. At the end of the season, Mourinho left the club to manage Real Madrid, he was replaced by Rafael Benitez. On August 21, 2010, Inter defeated Roma 3 1 and won the 2010 Supercoppa Italiana, their fourth trophy of the year. In December 2010, they claimed the FIFA Club World Cup for the first time after a 3 0 win against TP Mazembe in the final. However, after this win, on December 23, 2010, due to their declining performance in Serie A, the team fired Benitez. He was replaced by Leonardo the following day. Leonardo started with 30 points from 12 games, with an average of 2.5 points per game, better than his predecessors Benitez and Mourinho. On March 6, 2011, Leonardo set a new Italian Serie A record by collecting 33 points in 13 games. The previous record was 32 points in 13 games made by Fabio Capello in the 2004-05 season. Leonardo led the club to the quarterfinals of the Champions League before losing to Schalke 04 and lead them to Coppa Italia title. At the end of the season, however, he resigned and was followed by not so successful new managers Gian Piero Gasparini, Claudio Ranieri, and Andrea Stramaccioni. On August 1, 2012, the club announced that Marathi was to sell a minority interest of the club to a Chinese consortium led by Kenneth Huang. On the same day, Inter announced an agreement was formed with China Railway Construction Corporation Limited for a new stadium project, however, the deal with the Chinese eventually collapsed. The 2012-13 season was the worst in recent club history with Inter finishing ninth in Serie A and failing to qualify for any European competitions. Walter Mazzori was appointed to replace Stramaccioni on May 24, 2013. On October 15, 2013, an Indonesian consortium, International Sports Capital HK Limited, led by Eric Thohir, Handy Saedho, and Rosen Roslani, signed an agreement to acquire 70% of Inter shares from Internazionale holding SRL immediately after the deal, Marathi's Internazionale holding SRL still retained 29.5% of the shares of FCE Internazionale Milano SPA after the deal, the shares of Inter was owned by a chain of holding companies, namely International Sports Capital SPA of Italy. For 70% stake, International Sports Capital HK Limited and Asian Sports Ventures HK Limited of Hong Kong. Asian Sports Ventures HK Limited, itself another intermediate holding company, was owned by Nusantara Sports Ventures HK Limited, 60% stake, 
a company owned by Thalhir, Alex Sports Investment HK Limited, 20% stake, and Axis Sports Capital HK Limited, 20% stake. Thalhir, whom also co owned Major League Soccer, MLS, Club DC United and Indonesia Super League, ISL, Club Persib Bandung, announced on December 2, 2013 that Inter and DC United had formed strategic partnership. During the Thohir era the club began to modify its financial structure from one reliant on continual owner investment to a more self-sustained business model although the club still breached UEFA financial fair play regulations in 2015. The club was fined and received squad reduction in UEFA competitions, with additional penalties suspended in the probation period. During this time, Roberto Mancini returned as coach on November 14, 2014. On June 6, 2016, Suning Holdings Group, via Luxembourg-based subsidiary Great Horizon S. Data. RL, a company owned by Zhang Jindong, co-founder and chairman of Suning Commerce Group, acquired a majority stake of Inter from Thalhir's Consortium International Sports Capital SPA and from Marathi families remaining shares in Internazionale holding SRL according to various filings. The total investment from Suning was around 270 million euros. The deal was approved by an extraordinary general meeting on June 28, 2016, from which Suning Holdings Group had acquired a 68.55% stake in the club. The first season of new ownership, however, started with poor performance in pre-season friendlies. On August 8, 2016, Inter parted company with head coach Roberto Mancini by mutual consent over disagreements regarding the club's direction. He was replaced by Frank de Boer who was sacked on November 1, 2016 after leading Inter to a 4 watts 2 d 5 leaders record in 11 Serie A games as head coach. The successor, Stefano Pioli, didn't save the team from getting the worst group result in UEFA competitions in the club's history. Despite an eight-game winning streak, he and the club parted away when it became clear they would finish outside the league's top three for the sixth consecutive season. Primavera coach Stefano Vecchi took over for the last three rounds of the season. On June 9, 2017, former Roma coach Luciano Spalletti was appointed as Inter manager, signing a two-year contract and 11 months later Inter clinched the UEFA Champions League group stage spot after going six years without Champions League participation thanks to a 3-2 victory against Lazio in the season finale of 2017-18 Serie A. On October 26, 2018, Stephen Zhang was appointed as new president of the club. One of the founders of Inter, a painter named Giorgio Muggiani, was responsible for the design of the first Inter logo in 1908. The first design incorporated the letters FCM in the center of a series of circles that formed the badge of the club. The basic elements of the design have remained constant even as finer details have been modified over the years. Starting at the 1999 2000 season, the original club crest was reduced in size to give place for the addition of the club's name and foundation year at the upper and lower part of the logo respectively. In 2007, the logo was returned to the pre-1999-2000 era. It was given a more modern look with a smaller Scudetto star and lighter color scheme. This version was used until July 2014, when the club decided to undertake a rebranding. The most significant difference between the current and the previous logo is omission of the star from other media except match kits. Since its founding in 1908, Inter have worn black and blue stripes. It is rumored that black was chosen to represent night and blue was chosen to represent the sky. Aside from a short period during World War II, Inter continued to wear the black and blue stripes, earning them the nickname Nerazzurri. For a period of time, however, Inter were forced to abandon their black and blue uniforms. In 1928, Inter's name and philosophy made the ruling fascist party uneasy. As a result, during the same year the 20-year-old club was merged with Unione Sportiva Milanese. The new club was named Società Sportiva Ambrosian after the patron saint of Milan. The flag of Milan, the red cross on white background, replaced the traditional black and blue. After World War II, when the fascists had fallen from power, the club reverted to their original name and colors. In 2008, Inter celebrated their centenary with a red cross on their away shirt. The cross is reminiscent of the flag of their city, and they continued to use the pattern on their third kit. In 2014, the club adopted a predominantly black home kit with thin blue pinstripes before returning to a more traditional design the following season. Animals are often used to represent football clubs in Italy, the grass snake, called Bisione or Serpente, 
represents in tur. The snake is an important symbol for the city of Milan, appearing often in Milanese heraldry as a coiled viper with a man in its jaws. The symbol is famous for its presence on the coat of arms of the House of Sforza, which ruled over Italy from Milan during the Renaissance period. The city of Milan, the historical duchy of Milan, a 400 year state of the Holy Roman Empire, and in Sabria, a historical region, the city of Milan falls within. For the 2010 11 season, Inter's away kit featured the serpent. The team's stadium is the 80,000 18 seat San Siro, officially known as the Stadio Giuseppe Miazza after the former player who represented both Milan and Inter. The more commonly used name, San Siro, is the name of the district where it is located. San Siro has been the home of Milan since 1926, when it was privately built by funding from Milan's chairman at the time, Piero Pirelli. Construction was performed by 120 workers, and took 13 and a half months to complete. The stadium was owned by the club until it was sold to the city council in 1935, and since 1947 it has been shared with Inter, when they were accepted as joint tenant. The first game played at the stadium was on September 19, 1926, when Inter beat Milan 6 3 in a friendly match. Milan played its first league game in San Siro on 19 September 1926 losing 1-2 to, to Sampier Aranese. From an initial capacity of 35,000 spectators, the stadium has undergone several major renovations, most recently in preparation for the 1990 FIFA World Cup when its capacity was set to 85,700, all covered with a polycarbonate roof. In the summer of 2008, its capacity was reduced to 80,018 to meet the new standards set by UEFA. Based on the English model for stadiums, San Siro is specifically designed for football matches, as opposed to many multi-purpose stadiums used in Serie A. It is therefore renowned in Italy for its fantastic atmosphere during matches owing to the closeness of the stands to the pitch. The frequent use of flares by supporters contributes to the atmosphere, but the practice has occasionally also caused problems. Inter is one of the most supported clubs in Italy, according to an August 2007 research by Italian newspaper La Repubblica. Historically, the largest section of Inter fans from the city of Milan were the middle-class bourgeoisie Milanese, while Milan fans were typically working class. The traditional ultras group of Inter is Boys San, they hold a significant place in the history of the ultras scene in general due to the fact that they are one of the oldest, being founded in 1969. Politically, the ultras of Inter are usually considered right-wing and they have good relationships with the Lazio ultras. As well as the main group of Boys San, there are four more significant groups, Viking, Iridushi Bili, Ultras, and Brianza Al Kulika. Inter's most vocal fans are known to gather in the Curva Nor, or North Curve of the San Siro. This long-standing tradition has led to the Curva Nor being synonymous with the club's most die-hard supporters, who unfurl banners and wave flags in support of their team. Inter have several rivalries, two of which are highly significant in Italian football. Firstly, they participate in the intra-city derby della Madonnina with Milan, the rivalry has existed ever since Inter splintered off from Milan in 1908. The name of the derby refers to the Blessed Virgin Mary, whose statue atop the Milan Cathedral is one of the city's main attractions. The match usually creates a lively atmosphere, with numerous, often humorous or offensive, banners unfolded before the match. Flares are commonly present but they also led to the abandonment of the second leg of the 2004-05 Champions League quarterfinal matchup between Milan and Inter on 12 April after a flare thrown from the crowd by an Inter supporter struck Milan keeper Dida on the shoulder. The other most significant rivalry is with Juventus, the two participate in the Derby d'Italia. Up until the 2006 Italian football scandal, which saw Juventus relegated, the two were the only Italian clubs to have never played below Serie A. In recent years, post Calciopoli, Inter have developed a rivalry with Roma, having finished runners-up to Inter in all but one of Inter's five Scudetto winning seasons between 2005 and 2010. The two sides have also contested in five Coppa Italia finals and four Supercoppa Italiana finals since 2006. Other clubs, like Atalanta and Napoli, are also considered amongst their rivals. Their supporters collectively go by Inter East T, or Nerazzurri. Inter have won 30 domestic trophies, including the league 18 times, the Coppa Italia 7 and the Supercoppa Italiana 5. From 2006 to 2010, the club won five successive league titles, equaling the all-time record before 2017, when Juventus won the sixth successive league title.
they have won the Champions League three times, two back-to-back -back in 1964 and 1965 and then another in 2010, the last completed an unprecedented Italian treble with the Coppa Italia and the Scudetto. The club has also won three UEFA Cups, two Intercontinental Cups and one FIFA Club World Cup. Javier Zanetti holds the records for both total appearances and Serie A appearances for Inter, with 858 official games played in total and 618 in Serie A. Giuseppe Miazza is Inter's all-time top goal scorer, with 284 goals in 408 games. Behind him, in second place, is Alessandro Altobelli with 209 goals in 466 games, and Roberto Bonensegna in third place with 171 goals over 281 games. Helenio Herrera had the longest reign as Inter coach, with nine years, eight consecutive, in charge, and is the most successful coach in Inter history with three Scudetti, two European Cups, and two Intercontinental Cup wins. Jose Mourinho, who was appointed on June 2, 2008, and completed his first season in Italy by winning the Serie A league title and the Supercoppa Italiana. In the second season he won the first treble in Italian history, the Serie League title, Coppa Italia and the UEFA Champions League in the season 2009-2010. 3. Giacinto Facchetti, left back, 1960-1978, posthumous honor. The number was retired on September 8, 2006. The last player to wear the shirt was Argentinian centre-back Nicolas Berdiso, who took on the number 16 shirt for the rest of the season. Br greater than 4. Javier Zanetti, defensive midfielder, played 858 games for Inter between 1995 and his retirement in the summer of 2014. Club chairman Eric Thohir confirmed that Zanetti's number four was to be retired out of respect. Below is a list of Inter chairmen from 1908 until the present day. Below is a list of Inter coaches from 1909 until the present day. FC Internazionale Milano SPA was described as one of the financial black holes among the Italian clubs, which was heavily dependent on the financial contribution from the owner Massimo Marotti. In June 2006, the shirt sponsor and the minority shareholder of the club, Ferelli, sold 15.26% shares of the club to Marotti family, for 13.5 million euros. The tire manufacturer retained 4.2%. However, Due to several capital increases of Inter, such as a reversed merger with an intermediate holding company, Inter Capital SRL in 2006, which held 89% shares of Inter and 70 million euros capitals at that time, or issues new shares for 70.8 million euros in June 2007, 99.9 .9 million euros in December 2007, 86.6 million euros in 2008, 70 million euros in 2009. 40 million euros in 2010 and 2011, 35 million euros in 2012 for allowing hair subscribed euro 75 million new shares of Inter in 2013, Ferrelli became the third largest shareholders of just half a percent, Inter had yet another recapitalization that was reserved for Suning Holdings Group in 2016. In the prospectus of Pirelli's second IPO in 2017, the company also revealed that the value of the remaining shares of Inter that was owned by Pirelli was right off to zero in 2016 financial year. Inter also received direct capital contribution from the shareholders to cover loss which was excluded from issuing shares in the past. Right before the takeover of Thohir, the consolidated balance sheets of Internazionale holding SRL showed the whole company's group had a bank debt of €157 million, Euros, including the bank debt of a subsidiary Inter brand SRL, as well as the club itself, to Instituto per il Credito Sportivo. ICS, for 15.674 million euros on the balance sheet at end of 2012-13 financial year. In 2006 Inter sold its brand to the new subsidiary, Inter Brand SRL, a special purpose entity with a shares capital of 40 million euros, for 158 million euros, the deal made Internazionale make a net loss of just 31 million euros in a separate financial statement. At the same time the subsidiary secured a 120 million euro loan from Banca Anton Veneta, which would be repaid in installments until June 30, 2016, La Repubblica describes the deal as doping. In September 2011 Inter secured a loan from ICS by factoring the sponsorship of Pirelli of 2012-13 and 2013-14 season, for 24.8 million euros, in an interest rate of 3 months Euro plus 1.95% spread. 
In June 2014 New Intergroup secured €230 million euro loan from Goldman Sachs and Unicredit at a new interest rate of 3 months euro plus 5.5% spread, as well as setting up a new subsidiary to be the debt carrier, Intermedia and Communication SRL. €200 million euros of which would be utilized in debt refinancing of the group. The €230 million euro loan, €1 million, euros, plus interests, would be due on June 30, 2015. 45 million euros, plus interests, would be repaid in 15 installments from September 30, 2015 to March 31, 2019, as well as 184 million euros, plus interests, would be due on 30 June 2019. In ownership side, the Hong Kong-based international sports capital HK Limited, had pledged the shares of Italy-based international sports capital SPA, the direct holding company of Inter. Dukpup Credit Investments for €170 million Euros in 2015, at an interest rate of 8% PA, due March 2018, to 15% PA, due March 2020. ISC repaid the notes on July 1, 2016 after they sold part of the shares of Inter to Suning Holdings Group. However, in the late 2016 the shares of ISC SPA was pledged again by ISC HK to private equity funds of OCP Asia for US$80 US dollars million. In December 2017, the club also refinanced its debt of 300 million euros by issuing corporate bond to the market via Goldman Sachs as the bookkeeper for an interest rate of 4.875% PA. Considering revenue alone, Inter surpassed city rivals in Deloitte Football Money League for the first time in the 2008-09 season to rank in ninth place, one place behind Juventus in eighth place, Milan in tenth place in the 2009-10 season. Inter remained in 9th place, surpassing Juventus, 10th, but Milan retook the leading role as the 7th. Inter became the 8th in 2010-11, but was still one place behind Milan. Since 2011, Inter fell to 11th in 2011-12, 15th in 2012-13, 17th in 2013-14,19th in 2014-15 and 2015-16 season. In 2016-17 season, Inter was ranked 15th in the Money League. In 2010 Football Money League, 2008-09 season, the normalized revenue of €196.5 million Euros were divided up between match day, 14%, 28.2 million Euros, broadcasting, 59%, 115.7 million Euros, plus 7%, plus 8 million Euros, and commercial, 27%, 52.6 million Euros, plus 43%. Kit sponsors Nike and Pirelli contributed 18.1 million euros and 9.3 million euros respectively to commercial revenues, while broadcasting revenues were boosted 1.6 million euros, 6%, by Champions League distribution. Deloitte expressed the idea that issues in Italian football, particularly match day revenue issues, were holding Inter back compared to other European giants, and developing their own stadia would result in Serie A clubs being more competitive on the world stage. In 2009-10 season the revenue of Inter was boosted by the sales of Ibrahimovic, the treble and the release clause of coach Jose Mourinho. According to the normalized figures by Deloitte in their 2011 Football Money League, in 2009-10 season, the revenue had increased 28.3 million euros, 14%, to 224.8 million euros. The ratio of match day, broadcasting and commercial in the adjusted figures was 17%, 62%. 21%. For the 2010-11 season, Serie A clubs started negotiating club TV rights collectively rather than individually. This was predicted to result in lower broadcasting revenues for big clubs such as Juventus and Inter, with smaller clubs gaining from the loss. Eventually the result included an extraordinary income of €13 million Euros from Rydot in 2012 Football Money League, 2010-11 season, the normalized revenue was €211.4 million. Euros. The ratio of match day, broadcasting and commercial in the adjusted figures was 16%, 58%, 26%. However, combining revenue and cost, in the 2006-07 season they had a net loss of 206 million euros, 112 million euros extraordinary basis, due to the abolition of non-standard accounting practice of the Special Amortization Fund, followed by a net loss of 148 million euros in the 2007-08 season 
a net loss of 154 million euros in 2008-09 season, a net loss of 69 million euros in the 2009-10 season, a net loss of 87 million euros in the 2010-11 season, a net loss of 77 million euros in the 2011-12 season, a net loss of 80 euros million in 2012-13 season and a net profit of 33 million euros in 2013-14 season. Due to special income from the establishment of subsidiary Intermedia and Communication. All aforementioned figures were in separate financial statement. Figures from consolidated financial statement were announced since 2014 15 season, which were net losses of 140.4 million euros, 2014 15, 59.6 million euros, 2015 16 season, before 2017 restatement, and 24.6 million euros, 2016 17. In 2015 Inter and Roma were the only two Italian clubs that were sanctioned by the UEFA due to their breaking of UEFA financial fair play regulations, which was followed by Milan which was one spart from returning to European competition in 2018. As a probation to avoid further sanction, Inter agreed to have a three-year aggregate break-even from 2015 to 2018, with the 2015-16 season being allowed to have a net loss of a maximum of €30 million. Euros followed by break-even in the 2016-17 season and onwards. Inter was also fined €6 million Euros plus an additional €14 million Euros in probation. Inter also made a financial trick in the transfer market in mid-2015, in which Steven Jovetic and Miranda were assigned by Inter on temporary deals plus an obligation to sign outright in 2017, making their cost less in the loan period. Moreover, despite heavily investing in new signings, namely Jeffrey Kondogbia and Ivan Perisic that potentially increased the cost in amortization, Inter also sold Matteo Kovacic for €29 million, Euros, making a windfall profit. In November 2018, documents from Football Leaks further revealed that the loan signings such as Jardin Shakiri in January 2015, was in fact had inevitable conditions to trigger the outright purchase. On April 21, 2017, Inter announced that their net loss, FFP adjusted, of 2015-16 season was within the allowable limit of €30 Euros million. However, on the same day UEFA also announced that the reduction of squad size of Inter in European competitions would not be lifted yet, due to partial fulfillment off targets in the settlement agreement. Same announcement was made by UEFA in June 2018, based on Inter's 2016-17 season financial result. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.